this was another huge mistake of mine. On my way, I stop into like, I drive through like Baton Rouge or something and I, I get a, a track phone and I call home and I call a few people and I'd, every once in a while I would do that when I was somewhere else, I'd call just to check out my mom, my dad, you know. So I call and I call a friend of mine and she says, look, call the FBI agent, see if you can turn yourself in. And at this point, I'm pretty strung out, I'm pretty exhausted. I've had a bad couple days. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay. So I call the FBI agent, name was uh, Candace Calderon. Mm -hmm. uh, Candace is like a law enforcement zealot and really, really did not like me, just despised me. Hmm. I don't know why, everybody else was very pleasant. So very professional. Candace was just vicious to me. And so I remember I called her and I said, hey, my name's Matt Cox. I understand you wanted me to call you. And she's like, oh my God, yeah, Mr. Cox, we've been looking for you. I said, yeah, I understand that. She said, uh, yeah, I need you to turn yourself in. I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. And she said, well, let's talk about this. <laughs> and she said, uh, we, I go, well, what, what, what am I gonna get? How much time? And she said, well, I mean, uh, that's not really how it works. You turn yourself in, then we determine, we take that into consideration. I said, yeah, I'm not. I'm, yeah, right. That's not yeah. gonna, I'm not doing that. And she goes, well, I can talk to the U.S. attorney and see if he can recommend something. And okay, so she, so she's like, you do understand we're gonna catch you. And I go, well, I'm not sure how. And she goes, <laughs> well, she goes, well, I mean, let's face it. She goes, eventually you'll get pulled over by the police. I said, I've been pulled over by the police. She goes, well, I mean, you'll go to get a ticket. You'll try and hand him a driver's license. I said, I've handed him a driver's license. I said, as a matter of fact, I've gotten like four tickets in different people's names. I actually went to traffic school as another guy recently. <laughs> I, I got like three tickets in his oh name. He God. was gonna lose his license. I had a car in his name, I had to go. Jesus. So, plus it was eight hours I didn't have to spend with Becky. Right. So, yeah. I, I, so I, you know, I, so I, I'm telling her this and, I, and she's like, you know, oh, you know, you're so cocky. She said, you think you're not gonna get away. You know, eventually uh, you'll get caught. You'll get, you'll, you'll, she said, you'll go home to see somebody, somebody will recognize you, mm -hmm. you'll get pulled over, you'll, somebody, something will happen. I said, listen, nobody's gonna recognize me. I said, I've had multiple plastic surgeries. I mean, you know, and if you actually look at the pictures of me, I mean, I look vastly different. Mm -hmm. They actually, anyway, it's another story. And the point is, is that I'm like, look, nobody's gonna recognize me. I got multiple driver's licenses. I've got passports in other people's name. I've been in and out of the country. I said, and there's nobody in Tampa that I want to see. So unless we work something out, you're never going to have this conversation with me in, in, in person. And so she says, okay. She calms down. And I remember she said, uh, what did she say? She kept calling me sweetie. Listen, sweetie. Listen, sweetie. Mm. And she goes, I remember she said, uh, you don't realize how close we are to catching you. She's, we're 90% sure of where you're at. I go, yeah, well, only 100% counts, sweetie. And she was just like, oh, she, oh, she hated me. Oh, yeah, but see, she, she was cocky triggered. and I was cocky. She was, yeah. you know, and I shouldn't have been, like I shouldn't have, you know, just gotten down there and started being snide back to her. But she was yeah. so arrogant, right? you know. And arrogant people hate arrogant people. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, so I, I really, her, ugh, her condescension was just like, oh. So we go back and forth, back and forth. By the way, when I was eventually sentenced, this is brought up in front of the judge. Mm -hmm. And instead of me calling to turn myself in and try and figure out how to turn myself in and get a, a try and work out a deal, it turned into Mr. Cox constantly called the FBI and mocked <laughs> Just them. Just to fuck with them. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? I called a couple times. So anyway, I hang up the phone. And when she says, she goes, okay, I'll call you back. I go, whoa, 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 wait a minute, I'll call you back. She goes, just leave your phone on. I go, no, I said, because I'm gonna shut my phone off. She goes, just leave your phone on. I went, I said, no, you're probably tracking this phone right now. You're trying to triangulate it or something. And she goes, she goes, oh, get over yourself. She goes, you're not that important. And I remember thinking, yeah, she's right. Who do I think? I'm nobody. They're not trying to track the phone. It's just stupid. Come to find out when I later ordered They're the Freedom of Information phone, Act, right? they were tracking the phone <laughs> out of Baton Rouge and they'd actually sent two U.S. Marshals to the, to the 7-Eleven where I'd bought the phone where I was sitting talking to her on the phone. Really? So it just so happens that I hung up the phone and I turned it off and told her I'd call back in a couple hours and I got up and I got in my vehicle and started driving. So I was driving when I called her back a few hours later and I called and she said, look, 
we, I talked to uh, Robert Mazakowski, which is the U.S. attorney here in Florida, in Tampa. She says, I can get you seven years. Seven years? And I thought, that's seven years. And she doesn't even know about the other stuff. And I'd already told her, look, there's other stuff you don't know about. She says, yeah, but if you come in first and you tell us about it, we don't charge you. We'll take it into consideration. So I thought, if I tell her about the money and this and that, I'm, I might be okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, I was like, I'm not doing seven years. And she says, look we can maybe work something out. And I go, okay, well, what about in Atlanta? What about for Atlanta? And she's like, well, you need to turn yourself into Tampa. So we start going back and forth, back and forth. And eventually I go, what about the secret service? And she's like, look, you need to turn yourself into the FBI in Tampa. Just come back to Tampa. And I went, well, yeah, but I'm closer to Atlanta. Maybe I should just turn myself in Atlanta. And eventually it comes out that I'm like, look, I've mentioned Atlanta several times. You won't even address it. Did you talk to the U.S. attorney in Atlanta? And she goes, Finally, she says, no, I didn't talk to the U.S. Attorney in Atlanta. I can only speak for Tampa. I go, so the seven years is only for Tampa. And she goes, <laughs> "Right, yes. I said, oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't believe you if you told me water was wet. <laughs> yeah. we're, 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 it's over. And I just chucked the phone out, out the window. Right. <laughs>